television, there's an expression that when you're doing a show that turns out to be a hit, in the first season they're working for you, in the second season you're working together, and in the third season you're working for them. Right after episode five. I feel like we're hopefully just holding a mirror up to at least our corner of Hollywood. We've lived out here for 20 years and this is just our take on it. Jeffrey did a pilot a number of years ago where there was the table read and the head guy then just gets in his car and drives off. Because it was over. Mm -hmm. In his mind it was over and he didn't need to say goodbye. He didn't need to give a <laughs> Done. note. Why bother? Why be nice? And that's what happens is, is they love you, they love you until things are a little uh, dicey. dicey and then it's, uh, take care you guys. Oh, oh hello boys. Look. Honey, it's Matt LeBlanc and his pal Chim Chim Tari. <laughs> Merck is drawn from many, many, many different experiences that we've had. We have based this on no one. Everyone is fictional. We want to work again. <laughs> no, we don't. One of our favorite scenes in episode four, it's a very moving scene about Matt and he's just left his children and he's devastated and then to puncture that, uh, he throws up just a little bit on Beverly. And that's what it said in the script, he throws up just a little bit. Getting that just right, Jeffrey was working with the props guys to <laughs> mixing the oatmeal to get just the right consistency. And then we tried out several different consistencies and Matt would spit them out yeah. and we would look and go, mm, too loose. And the first time we shot it, on the first take, he overshot it. <laughs> And this, so he pulled it back and the second time it just went behind her back. <laughs> and it was, it was finally on the, it was like, a, it's just like a terrible fairy tale. On the third time, yes. he got it just right and it was just bloop. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, sorry.